Hey, this is Dr. O. I'm going to show you how to replace a, a strut assembly. Uh, this is a 2007 uh, Chrysler Town & Country. Uh, this spans across a lot of different years for Chrysler uh, caravans and, and Dodge minivans. Um, so what we're doing, we're, we're taking out the entire strut assembly. Uh, this, this particular one has a broken spring. Um, a lot of people are opting to do this now. You can buy these uh, you know, on Amazon or Amazon or any local part source. Uh, so it's pretty. Uh, pull your car in. Um, you know, get it where you're going to work on it. Uh, before you uh, uh, take and jack it up, uh, best thing to do is pop the hood and come over here and uh, remove these uh, bolts here on the top of your strut. Uh, you'll see three of them on each strut. We're just going to do the one on the driver's side, passenger side is exactly the same. Uh, first thing you want to do is just get the get the two inner ones first. Just go and crack them loose and uh, you stick your hand up under there. You use a wrench. It takes it takes a little while, but uh, go ahead and, and uh, just completely remove those two. Leave this one on though. Um, you can go ahead and just crack it loose, but leave that one attached and you'll right. see why. So now that you've uh, loosened up those, uh, or removed the two nuts uh, from up top of the strut, loosened up the other one, um, jack your car up, uh, leave the front suspension hanging, don't use the jack stand under the control arm. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is just take the tire off, come down here and remove the two nuts off the uh, lower part of the strut. Um, now these bolts that go in there are spline, uh, so you shouldn't have to hold this end of it with a wrench. I'm going to go ahead and use an impact, uh, remove those. I've already sprayed them with a little, uh, little bit of our favorite panther pee. Uh, this is New York State. We use a lot of salt, so things are uh, rusty pretty quick. So we're going to go ahead and take that one out. Take that one out. Now what we're going to do, like I say, they are splined. Uh, so just grab a hammer. Uh, just, just hit them right directly on the end. They'll go flying. All right. Simple as that. Now grab your uh, grab your bolt. Just stick stick one back in loosely on the control arm. Um, but you can see what I was saying about them bolts being splined. Uh, so they they lock right there in the steer knuckle pretty good. Okay, now that you have the two lower strut bolts removed, uh, next thing you want to do is unhook the uh, top of the sway bar link here. Um, like I said, this is New York, we get a lot of salt, this is, this is rusty. Um, you know, you may or may not find the, you know, this method, you know, what you have to do. Uh, in a perfect world, in the middle of that sway bar link, there typically would have been a spot where you could stick an Allen socket or a Torx bit and hold it and, you know, you would back this nut off. And, um, but like I said, it's in a perfect world. Uh, so here, what we would do, Right behind that sway bar link, there's a there's a metal flat on it. Um, you can get a hold of that with a pair of vice grips. Um, so go ahead and uh, just click on that with a pair of vice grips. Okay, now that you've uh, you got your vice grips snapped on there, good. We're just going to take. Uh, I just know from experience when we back that nut off, it's going to lock up on that sway bar link. Um, so we're just going to use a torch. Um, we're going to heat that. Just heat the nut up a little bit. Just to kind of get the uh, nylon to burn out of it. I know everything you read says don't heat a, heat a strut. Long story short, just don't be an idiot. Don't stand there all day with it. So once you get the knot heated up, check the torch off to 18 millimeter. At that point, it's up to you whether or not you reuse uh, reuse the sway bar, uh, the sway bar link. Um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't hardly get them hot at all. It doesn't damage the boots on them. Uh, they're totally reusable if you'd like. Um, all right, so now we're going to go on to the next step. So now that you have everything removed, uh, the one bolt that you put back in there loosely, just just go ahead and, and take that back out, set it to the side. Um, Make sure the uh, get the strut free from your steering knuckle. I don't yank out on this because you can actually pull the CV joint apart. Um, so you got your strut hanging there. Now the easiest thing to do is just grab the strut with one hand, go up and take that last nut off that you left on top. Just kind of holding your strut. Just spin that nut off that you left loose. Now that's completely loose. And then come around the other side here and you can see. Um, now with that loose, you should be able to just kind of tip your strut and remove the whole assembly. Okay. Just go ahead and stick that to the side. Now you take your, uh, I can't 
holding that up right there. So take your new uh, new strut, here that comes with new new nuts. Just grab those. Um, now before you go throw this in, just reference it to the uh, to the old one. Um, you know, just take a look at it. Um, it will turn in the same direction here, and then pay attention to your bearing plate, uh, making sure that uh, this is oriented correctly. Um, if it's not, you can just hold the strut. You can turn the bearing plate. You might have to stick a bar in there just to rotate it. Um, but you can see that this one's oriented correctly, so we're just going to stick it back up in. So this could be a little tricky. Um, kind of got to go at it blind. But you just slide your strut up in the same deck way you took it out. Some up pressure on it. And then put one of the uh, that, that one top nut that you let left loose. Well, I need one, just hold it. Get it in there, it'll hold itself. Line it up in your steering knuckle. Lightly uh, put in that bolt. And uh, now we're going to take and uh, raise it up. Uh, and finish putting it together, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now before we get too far, um, I just want to point out one thing. Look at this lower bolt hole in this strut. You'll, you'll see that uh, in this aftermarket strut, this hole's elongated, okay? The factory struts are not. So when you stick this bolt in, okay, there's going to be a latitude of movement there. So you're going to be able to tighten that. Once you put the nut on it, you're going to be able to tighten it down just about in any position. Uh, so what that means, um, you're going to have to take, uh, when you're done with this car, uh, take it to your local shop and have the camber and toe reset on the front because this will change the camber angle. Um, it's, it's the vertical alignment of your tire uh, or wheel assembly is what the camber is. So with that strut being slotted, make sure you get the alignment done uh, as soon as you get this done. Otherwise, it'll destroy your tires. Uh, so our next step is we're going to put these bolts back in just like we took them out. We're going to knock them back through. Go ahead and put some nuts on them. And what I would do, um, you know, before I tighten it down, just just try to center that bolt up in the uh, in that lower hole there. Get on there. Go ahead and uh, use your 21 millimeter socket and just uh, tighten them back. Okay, now that you got your two lower strut bolts tight. Um, we're going to go ahead and reinstall this uh, sway bar. Uh, this customer is looking to save a little bit of money. They don't want to replace them. Uh, so uh, we're going to pretty much just put it on just like we took it off. Just clamp your vice grips right on the, uh, on the metal flat on the inside of that uh, sway bar link. Line it up in the hole. Uh, take your nut. Uh, you can spray a little, little panther pee, put a little never seize on there. Uh, go ahead and start your nut. You're going to use an 18 millimeter socket. You're going to run that back onto its tight. And that's simple as that. Um, we're going to take and put the uh, put the tire and wheel assembly back on. We're going to let the car down. Uh, make sure all three studs. Uh, well, actually, make sure all the studs are poking up through the through the top of the strut tower. There, uh, they should be because we've already put the one nut on. Uh, we're going to put on the second two nuts and uh, tighten it down. And uh, we're going to head down to the shop for an alignment.